Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are showcasing the winning island for my giveaway stream that I did a couple of days ago. This island theme truly blew my mind. Oh, oh my gosh. This is like the ultimate Valentine's Day island. So after that, I decided this island definitely deserves its own island tour, not to mention if you couldn't make the stream or just like, you know, watch the whole entire live. Now you can see what the winning island looked like and also just how incredible this island theme truly is. I hope today's island tour inspires you as much as it did for me. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Today's island was created by Sherry.Crossing on Instagram. We actually toured one of their islands for Christmas and they created this gorgeous nighttime Christmas city. So this is the same island creator as the other island tour video that we did not too long ago. This island is the perfect inspiration. If you're going for something more elegant core like, you wanna incorporate some natural areas on the map, you wanna focus on courtyards, but yet still have some kind of a city-like feel to the island. It's just packed with so much detail and tons of inspiration that'll definitely inspire those who are looking for those kind of features on their own Animal Crossing island. This island also has inspired me to give Elegant Core another shot. As many of y'all know, I really don't focus on themes like this and they're just really difficult to create in my opinion. Just structured islands in general are so difficult to create on this game. But after seeing how gorgeous Elegant Core could be, I really wanna try to give it at least one more shot, but definitely wanna include some sort of like city core roads cause y'all know I'm a sucker for those and I just can't imagine creating an island without some kind of like city core structure and road design. Something else that really made me appreciate this island on my live stream was the amount of detail in every location. It's just so packed with different decor items, but also the map just feels extremely large. I don't know about y'all, but I am constantly running out of space on my island. Like I never am able to get every single idea that I planned for every single build that I put out on my channel. And when I see islands like this, that just have so much packed in onto the map, I am extremely jealous of it because I never can fit every single beautiful build like this on my own island. This island also has so much inspiration if you're looking for some transitional ideas or maybe filling up those really awkward areas on your map. I just love how every location has some sort of a unique transition or just like some cute little sitting areas or maybe like a little cafe. I mean this island literally has it all. I'm also a huge fan of every design code that has been used on this island. They just all complement each other really well and again there's just so many great structural build ideas. I'm a huge fan of all the sitting areas, all the structural builds in general. I mean, everything is just extremely structured and that is something I just personally struggle with every single time I build, even if it's not an elegant theme. The next two locations on their island are my absolute favorite. We had this absolutely stunning courtyard. I mean, look at that. All the green tones just look amazing against all those blossom trees. And then we have this gorgeous design on the ground. I feel like for elegant core, a courtyard is definitely a must for builds like this. I mean, it just added the perfect touch to their island. It's just incredibly well done. So I'm hoping that that brings you some inspiration like it has for me. This island is also really easy to navigate in. Like I had no trouble, you know, just exploring and navigating through it. So that is also a huge plus for me as sometimes I feel like my own islands can be kind of like a maze, but this creator has done such a great job on just making it flow so naturally. And now we are entering my absolute favorite location on their island. This whole entire build just took my breath away. Like, can you just see how incredible that item layering is? This build definitely looks like it took hours to do. I could never do something like this. What really caught me off guard was the amount of detail that was in that castle. The Sakura umbrellas sitting on top of the pillars just add the perfect touch to this island's build. I just can't get over how much detail they were able to pack into one giant castle build. Like that is goals. I struggle so much with creating a detailed castle like we're seeing right now. So this build definitely helped inspire me to finally like get motivated into trying another elegant core theme out. Once we leave the castle perspective, we are greeted with this beautiful rock garden and I know how many hours this probably took to get those rocks there. I feel like creating a rock garden is very difficult. You have to do things a certain way to have your rocks spawn in your ideal location. So I just know that that took them forever to create and it just makes me appreciate the build even more. I hope today's island brought you so much inspiration. Let me know what your favorite part was in the comment section below. Like on every island tour that we do on my channel, I always recommend reaching out to the content creator if you wanna use any of the codes that they used on 
their island builds. I just can't get over how beautiful Cherry did on this island. I'm just truly blown away by their creativity and the fact that they were able to make this island so fast. Like I swear I just saw them posting on Instagram and then like two days later it was done. It obviously wasn't two days for the island to be built but I know it was done really quickly so I need to ask the creator like how long this island took them to build because usually when I'm looking at themes like this for my own islands it takes me at least a couple of weeks to do so I'm just totally blown away by the amount of detail this island has and how quickly it was done. I obviously have so many favorite areas from this island tour today but let me know what yours was in the comment section below. With that being said thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.